What is going on, my fellow Internet nerds? It's Mike Barrow here. Steven Dobbins. Welcome to our channel. Make sure you subscribe to it if you haven't already. We are covering episode number four of What If? Title being... If Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands. Mm. This episode's phenomenal. You know what that's really cool what they're doing and I really love? They were like almost baby stepping us to a point where it's like, okay, so just what if the characters switched? And then yeah. it's, okay, what if the story completely switched? And then it's to the point now of, what if we just broke this universe? Yeah. <laughs> like, what if we just destroyed this universe? Just completely annihilated. <laughs> and I have no idea where they go from here. Yeah, I don't even know what the next... Well, we haven't seen Killmonger yet. That has to be the next episode. That's gonna be cool. That has to be the next Going episode. all the way back. I keep saying that, though. I keep thinking that's the next I know. Episode. I said it for this time. I was like, it's gotta be the next episode. Yeah. But like, and the Spider-Man episode has to still come. We still need the zombie episodes. Yes. But, I, I mean, what, let's, let's go into what did you think right off the gate Doctor Strange is is this our Doctor Strange? Is this a different Doctor Strange? Yeah, no, I'm um, just be like the story of it alone uh, and going out with Christine. They never were a thing to begin with. So yeah. this Doctor Strange right off the bat was just. I mean, they were a thing, but it wasn't. It was like, like in the past. Obvious, yeah, yeah. It wasn't obvious, and they weren't definitely taking each other out or anything. He was alone in the car drive. Our Doctor Strange. Yeah. When he when he crashed. I don't know. This is definitely just a different, totally different Doctor Strange. Yeah, it's two different ones technically. Yeah, you get split. Yeah, get split. Yeah. yeah, it was very cool to see him go super, super dark. Yeah. And to see how he really could have turned out because he is deep down, like before everything happened, like the one we know, he is that that arrogant, yeah. cocky doctor. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So to see him actually pers like take that take route it. and go 100 percent with it just was very. Scary. Yeah, it was well, scary. And it goes into that idea of like knowledge is power, and sometimes if you go yeah, too much, because I like that. I yeah. love, love, love that. that. Well, we were saying that we love that his superpower is reading. Knowledge. It's knowledge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because it really is a superpower. Yeah, yeah. And like the classic brute superheroes that all kids were fans of just because they were strong, could beat people up, whatever. This is just a totally different take on a hero that needs to be. I think explored more when it Definitely. comes to superhero, like the genre. Yeah, no, the more you read, the more you know, and then the responsibility with that knowledge. Yeah, because he took that knowledge and did terrible things with it. Very <laughs> terrible. Like some books you, you weren't even able to read. No, right, and and, and there was a level, level too. Yeah, right, right. Which is hey, make sure you read kids. But yeah, I agree. I definitely think it was strange right off the gate. No pun intended there, yeah. but it was strange right off the gate how nice he was for Christine, how how excited he was, the fact that they were going to an award show instead yeah. of like a conference that he always talks at and I was just like wow I really like and that's what's really sad about the episode I really liked him in the beginning yeah and then by the end you're like come on man what are you doing like, stop that powerful montage broke me the song the way she kept dying yeah I'm like like not only did you watch her die the first time you forcefully put yourself through like seven more times in different ways to try to fix it and you couldn't yeah you ever see the movie the time machine that's what it's no. i think it's based off the book that became a movie which is like there's a scientist who discovers that he could do time travel because mm -hmm. his his wife dies and he yeah. tries to save her and the same thing happens over and over exactly. again and this is obviously because we get the the absolute point that we we, we learn about and that there's certain moments in life. I like that though. I like that yeah. there's like, even though there is a multiverse and things can change, there yeah. still are these absolute points in time that must happen no matter what. And this is and one of death them. is one of them. Yeah, at times. That's why it was cool. You saw that uh, that fine line between devotion and delusion. Yeah. He was delusional. Yeah. You're not gonna save her, dude. No matter how devoted you are to figuring it out, yeah. it's not happening. And I guess like sort of the thesis to it is, you can break your body and be okay. But if you break someone's heart or their mind, you it out. shatters your mind. Yeah. yeah. The the one character I loved in this episode is the librarian of the yeah. Library, okay. kind of show. Yeah. He was awesome. He was so cool. That's how we, we he he gave us those one liners. Yeah, yeah. Devotion, the fine line between devotion and delusion, and how love can shatter your mind. Yeah. Not only hurt you physically, but yeah, it's like. He was awesome. He and was then, a really cool character. And then tying what you just said to what you said before, he was the librarian of the lost books. Yeah. Because the books mean more mm -hmm. than anything else. The knowledge that he possessed there was so powerful. Yeah. And even looking at him physically, you like I noticed that he had a one blue eye and one red eye. Yeah. Like the, he he was the balance of, of good and evil. Like he was there. That's why he was a librarian. Wow. It was so cool yeah, to see yeah. that. You know? And then and then we get the whole that amazing scenes with the the ancient one coming back. I thought that was yeah. really cool. Actually seeing a physical watcher. Whoa, that was what. All right, yeah. all right. Let's get to that point. That yeah. that 
broke me. When the Watcher broke through yeah. and was like, I could save you, but I'm not going and to. And Dr. Strange said, I know of you. Yeah, and he felt the presence and everything. But I'm going now to my theory. This is the Doctor Strange of Spider-Man. Wow. It is. Has I to be. So. I, I'm 100% in. I don't know. I don't know. Dude, dude. I know, I've been saying this since the beginning, though. What if has direct ties to the universe? You're not spending this much money, this much talent. You're not introducing someone like the Watcher. Doctor Strange noticed him. Yeah. He noticed him. Oh, come on. And, and he's evil. The Spider-Man, he's fighting him. He has the same kind of bluish, darkish outfit. Yeah, I still don't understand why Doctor Strange has agreed to doing what he's doing. With yeah. Because, like, it's not smart. Like, imagine Doctor Strange, or I guess Spider-Man, or something. I don't know Wong, where. When Wong tells you not to do something, I'm pretty sure you off. shouldn't do that. It happened in this episode. He said, don't do something. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, clearly that man should be a source of supreme. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? How's what, how is what if tying into the universe? You don't think it's tying in? I don't know, dude. It's like, I mean, it's kind of becoming convincing. Like, I could see this Doctor Strange being the Doctor Strange in a way, but I just don't know how he would have got there. Yeah. I don't know how he gets out of where he he's at right now it. because he's in a broken universe. It's destroyed. There's nothing that you can't escape. Where, He's locked in a prison. Where is he? How is he going to get out of that? Unless the witch, the Watcher. Helps you know, I want to go down on the train that the Doctor Strange we're seeing in Spider Man is Mephisto in disguise. That would be. That's cool. what I want to go down. That would be cool. dying. I will. You will stay on that train. You think You're I'm with you, that? boss. I'm wow. with you, boss. I 100 percent think that's it. So I just think it would be so cool that misleading everyone saying that Wanda's going to be the protagonist of Doctor Strange. But what if it's Doctor Strange? That would be mind blowing. And like, I, and again, like, it was cool to see in this episode versing himself. Yeah, it was so cool to see that. And then he loses. So, Aren't, yeah, like, yeah, so imagine Strange live loses. action taking on himself. Wow, with Wanda there, and and somehow Vision has a tie. Where's Where's our White Vision? Yeah, where, who the <laughs> hell knows what happened there? It's like <laughs> that's still a thing. We'll never know. Right? Like, is he just like, we're not <laughs> like, was that just... So, right, like, uh, five movies later, he'll show up and he'll be like, Oh, you, oh, you know. did it again, Mom. But what if Vision, all of a sudden... That, now, this is a total, like, left field. What if he's a multiverse traveler? Because <laughs> he's made up of... That Vision was just made up out of Wanda. True. So, like, what if Wanda gave him the ability to just... Bye, Vision. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of anything that would get Doctor Strange out of that... I don't even know what you call that, a chrysalis of time? Oh, like a prism or something, I have no and idea. It, <laughs> it's so mind-blowing, you can't breathe. Up. It was Vision, Vision got me. Oh, I, I don't think there's anything left to say, this episode was top-notch, superior. It, it was amazing. It was amazing. No, this was, this is one of my favorite things Marvel's ever done. <laughs> yeah, hands down. I, I, I love it. I, 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 how many more episodes do we have left? We have six. Wow. There's ten episodes. Cool. And a second season. So, and a second season. So really, yeah. It's going to be insane. <sighs> I can't wait to keep watching this, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. We, we really appreciate it. Let's shoot for a goal of 30 likes. 30 likes. On this video. Let's try and get that in there. Share it with your friends if you enjoyed it. And again, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We do daily content on all things of nerdum. Be sure if you're locally in New Jersey, specifically Freehold, AMC Freehold, we have an ad running all week from the 2nd to the 9th um, inside the theater. So be sure to check that out. And if you do see it, record it, tag us on your social medias. We'll be happy to share it. And um, thank you guys for And, then, and then put your phones away after when the movie starts. Of course, yeah, turn that shit off. Come on. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace.